So if we take away the revenue from the state that is generated by the franchise tax, what can we expect in terms of benefit? We recently had that model run by Mississippi State University. The College of Business and NSPARC there ran those figures for us, and these are conservative figures. So that over a period of time, if we eliminate that over the 10-year period of time that the chairman spoke of in this bill, we can expect to generate another 3,287 new jobs. We can increase our GDP in the state by $237 million. Personal income levels will rise by $205 million. So as we remove this revenue source, we will see all of these benefits that will accrue to the state. And I can tell you, study after study after study over the last number of years have indicated that this is a tax that stands out when site-location consultants are looking at the state. It's a tax that is obviously impacting our existing businesses. Mr. Chairman, now is the time for us to level the playing field. A 10-year phase out of this tax would allow the general fund to absorb this reduction. It will create new jobs. It will create income 